G'day everybody, Sam Marwood here from Cultivate Farms and welcome to Cultivate Farms TV where we take you behind the scenes of everything we're doing to make it possible for you to own a farm or if you're a farmer looking to step back, uh, how to find an amazing aspiring farmer who uh, would love to farm with you. Uh, so these episodes are all about giving you uh, a summary of what's happened in the past week uh, to try and keep you inspired, to give you lots of ideas, and to let you know of opportunities that are popping up uh, that we want you to grab. So this week, I'm going to talk about what's happened, a quick summary of this week, um, a question from a 16-year-old, feedback from an investor, pitching to an investor's brief, uh, and running a workshop on pitching a farm, all that, and a few more cool things. So um, please send any comments you've got as we're going live, or if uh, if you are listening or watching uh, later, we still want to hear from you, so please send emails and messages, etc. So we have 394 members uh, signed up. That's five more since last time we updated. Encourage you again to keep signing up. Make sure you fill out your details fully because what we do is send uh, you farm opportunities and match your criteria. And if you aren't signed up with your details, you'll probably miss out on your farm dream. And we don't want that to happen, so please uh, jump on and sign up. Sign up. So what's happened this week. There's just so much going on. Uh, we are being bombarded. I'm slowly getting around to all my emails, um, but there are just some great opportunities happening. It's very exciting. Lots of uh, doors being opened. So they include uh, being able to present to a couple of state governments around how we can solve the young farmer problem and how we can um, solve, uh, provide solutions to retiring farmers, which is really exciting. So we're pulling together presentations around all that with lots of ideas and talking about you guys and all the conversations we've had with you aspiring farmers. Um, they are, um, they are, this is a really great opportunity. People are wanting to hear from us. So send us any ideas you have that we should be pitching to governments around how to help you. Uh, I spoke at a leadership forum in Wodonga last night, which was a lot of fun and pretty much summarized my lessons and, and Tim and Tegan's lessons in starting up Cultivate Farms uh, and how the power of the internet, i.e. doing things like this right now using Facebook Live, is available to anyone starting a business. And I don't think we've realized that as a business world and especially as aspiring farmers, I just reiterate you guys, you have social media for free on your phone, right in front of you now, that you should be using to your advantage to get you onto your dream farm. And I also had the chance, and I'll post that, post that video editing at the moment, and I also had a chance to speak to a bunch of uh, year 11 students, uh, which was uh, hard work in some ways, they're just sitting there like this, wondering who's this bozo talking, but I said to them they are living in the best moment in history to not know what they want to do with their life. They can go and dabble and find ideas uh, that they want to chase and they've got plenty of time and they, again, grew up with the internet and social media and they should be using that to their advantage to find the solutions they want out of life. So it's probably a little bit bigger than just talking about farms and farming, but uh, I just love that concept of being able to share ideas we've, we've uh, had from starting Cultivate Farms and inspire other people to follow their dreams and um, especially aspiring farmers. The other thing that happened this week was uh, we have met up with Kevin Sheedy, AFL legend from the Bombers and also GWS and a couple of times now and he is very excited with what we're doing with Cultivate Farms. He loves the concept of, of us backing young farmers and also helping retiring farmers step back. He gets it, he got it straight away. So he is a big champion of the country round in AFL, which happened a couple of weeks ago and to support that, um, he has a lunch, had a luncheon uh, to help raise money for the Royal Flying Doctors and he invited uh, me to come and talk to a bunch of uh, re, uh, old, uh, well not that old, but uh, AFL, ex, uh, ex-AFL legends, which is pretty cool, James Hurd, Billy Brownless, um, Kevin Bartlett, um, uh, who, who else was there, I can't remember off the top of my head now, but it was pretty intimidating to get up there and, and I spoke about you guys very quickly and then what we're doing and how we're crowdfunding with Domacom. Uh, our first farm, we want that to be a template to go again. Uh, and they loved it. And also Penny Scott, who's a retiring farmer in Wagga Wagga, um, she got up and spoke about the value of investing in local farms and, and buying Australian food. And everyone loved it, absolutely loved it. And we filmed that as well. So hopefully we'll be able to share that very soon as well. But um, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff and pretty cool opportunities we're being presented with. And um, we want you guys just to know that people want to hear from you. They love the story of what we're doing. Uh, getting you guys onto farms. They want to see it happen. Um, so we just want to encourage you, get out there and tell your own story 
Um, you're probably a bit shy of doing it, but time after time, I tell your story to other people and they get inspired and they love it. So get used to the idea of telling your story that you want to be a farmer and you're going to make it happen. Uh, it's just a matter of time and find the right people uh, because do not be afraid that people won't love it. They will. So we've been asking uh, for questions um, and we're getting a lot of feedback from people and we had this um, messenger, Facebook messenger message the other day from a 16 year old farmer and I sort of read it out and, and give you my response that I gave them but it was really encouraging to hear someone really growing for it um, uh, and it is from a, a guy, a 16 year old, he says, um, Codway Farms is all about owning a farm. Um, that, that dream farm you've always wanted of and always dreamed of. And I'm a 16 year old farmer and I lease a piece of land uh, and now do my own farming. But I'm curious for a 16 year old farmer, what should I be doing exactly? What should be my plan? Because at the moment I'm kind of stuck uh, on what to do and how to understand these things. And I read this and I thought, wow, this guy is already leasing land at 16 years old and he's out there working. Uh, I was very, very impressed and I guess I want to use this to inspire you guys uh, that there are young people out there absolutely going for it and uh, all they need is a bit of guidance. So I said to him, mate, you're a champion, absolutely love it, I love your energy and it sounds like you're doing what you already need to, build your skills, create wealth and demonstrate by your actions that you're a fair dinkum and wanted to become a farmer. And then the next thing I said to him was, get a little black book and I've talked about this before, get a little black book, write down all the retirement and age, retirement age farmers in your district and figure out ways to naturally be able to go to them uh, and just become their friends and provide value, find ways to help them uh, and not with the intention of bombarding them and telling them you want to have their farm and give it to me now. It's more to build relationships and then over time you're going to be able to say to them, hey I've been thinking about um, owning a farm, I've been thinking about this idea of transitioning from a farmer who's looking to step back and um, I'd love to get your thoughts about it and through that relationship doors might open. It might not be that farmer, but that farmer might talk to another farmer. So just for him, it feels like he has a great story. People would be motivated by his story. Retiring farmers would love it. Um, so no, why not use that um, story uh, when you've built a relationship with these retirement age farmers and have a list of 50 of them and try and figure out in the next five years how to hit them up and uh, and become their friends and provide them value. So he loved that and now hopefully he's off there and hopefully watching now and um, getting inspired and pumped up to, to follow his dreams. Investor feedback. So we're talking to investors more and more. It is very, very cool conversations. And I was talking to one the other day and I just wrote down some notes as I was talking So I thought this is a great feedback for you that one, there are real people out there who have money who want to back you. Uh, and, and two, just to give you some of their thoughts around what they're thinking and why you should be thinking, hey, I can provide a lot of value to these investors. Um, so um, this investor is based in a major city in Australia uh, and has always had this niggling feeling that they want to own a farm. They've worked in the agriculture industry um, and they're thinking a lot like, can I do this myself is sort of the question they're asking, um, which I thought was really interesting that they've got all the money they need, but the thing that's holding them back is they don't have the skills uh, or the know-how to run a farm or the confidence to go about doing it. Um, their concerns were can I make it make enough money just to cover a bit of debt that I might need uh, or might be advantageous to have that debt, let alone thinking about how I make it really profitable. So that's like they just want to own a farm is their, is their driver. Uh, so they'd love to get involved in commercially inside in the farming enterprise and they'd love to help out as much as possible but, but the main thing would be supporting the business side of stuff. Um, so basically they can't quit their job to run the farm. They need someone to own and run the farm with them um, and so they've been really intrigued by this idea of cultivate farms where we would find them the best aspiring farmer to co-own and run that farm with them. Uh, and we're having another catch up with this particular investor in a couple of weeks time. So to me, I think what we're offering with cultivate farms is you guys, you motivated, uh, top quality farmers who want to take the next step and own a farm. Um, I think I want you to realize that you uh, have a lot of power in your hands because these people out there have the funding, they don't know how to run farms um, and they want you to work with them to own their farm uh, with them. So I guess I just, you want to use that to reiterate not only to aspiring farmers that you should be out there getting used to pitching a farm um, and presenting yourself and showing that you are clever so 
get motivated around there. And anyone who's a potential investor, I want you to let you know that there are thousands of aspiring farmers across the country uh, who, bust, who are busting to work with you and own a farm with you. Uh, I've got one question here from Emily. Are there really old farmers out there wanting to let young people use their land? I really hope so. Emily, there are there are 19 farmers right now on our website. You can go have a look and pitch to own the farm with them. They're right there and we're dealing with another 80 in the background and we're hoping that would be thousands in the next year or so uh, as people realise how great this will be for retiring farmers. So. Uh, please get on our website and trawl. You can see it, and I'll talk about that in a second. But excellent question. Keep them coming. Welcome, Laura. Um, all right, next one. Pitching uh, to an investor's brief. This is very exciting, this update. So we are working with these investors who love the idea of backing aspiring farmers, uh, and we're pulling together a bit of a package of a concept that we think we are going to replicate plus is going to get international uh, attention because it is so, so good. We are working with these investors to say, how much are you willing to invest? Uh, they're soon going to tell us how much that is. Uh, and these are in a couple of particular areas across Australia. And what we're going to do is, is open it up to you aspiring farmers with a, a list of the investment criteria around what this investor wants geographically, type of farm, size, etc., and we're going to put it over to you and give you three months to pull investment proposals together with the knowledge that this investor will back you, these investors will back you if you are good enough and if this farm opportunity is good enough. That, we think, is absolutely amazing. And this is the stuff we've been fighting for and pushing for for years now. And it's all starting to become real and we're working in the background to make it happen. So again, I just want to give you guys confidence as aspiring farmers that there are things happening in the background which are going to give you amazing opportunities and I want to encourage you to get ready, get ready. I have you downloaded the farm pitching template? Do you know it inside out? Have you had a go at pitching a farm just to have the practice of can you fill out a profit and loss statement? Can you fill out a budget? Uh, can you describe why you're the best farmer? You need to be able to do that so that we can take you and put you in front of the people who can make your farm ownership dreams a reality. Um, I'm very excited. I don't know if you can tell. So on that same train around investors, we will think, been thinking about, we want your feedback on whether we should be running uh, workshops specifically around pitching your farm investment. So specifically around the investment pitching template that you've got on the website, that we've got on the website that you can download right now for free and dabble with. Would love to hear your feedback around whether it's worthwhile getting you in a room with, uh, say, 10, 20 other aspiring farmers and going through the pitching template line by line with some business experts that can help you get your answers out. And that's probably the biggest thing we're finding is people just finding the time to sit and write and know the angle to, to pitch your, your uh, presentation at. Um, so, yeah, what would you, would you guys be up for it? Um, Claire Coates said she'd love to help with pitches and we need to talk about Claire's pitch uh, some exciting news around that one. Um, but encourage you to get back to us and let us know what would you attend one so we can figure out whether we do it. Would you pay to attend and what would you want to see uh, at that event? Um, for us, it would be a massive boost if we did know that were people willing to go and you did sign up so that we can keep going and we can actually um, provide something of value. So the concepts are going to be around how, farmer, how to show you are a great farmer, how to get your story going. Uh, had farm around how do you demonstrate this bit of dirt is worth it for an investor and why it's good value and then the food a .e. what are you going to do on that on that farm uh, to make it a profitable business so that's sort of the the sort of concepts we're thinking about doing so please send us an email or send us a message around whether you would attend uh, and what would be stopping you from going or what would really make you want to go we are after a free-range pig aspiring farmer uh, for Wagga Wagga in New South Wales. Uh, this farm is going to be the second only crowdfunded farm in Australia. You can go to Domacom to check out and verify that that is the case. They're the organisation we're crowdfunding with. But we need an aspiring farmer to farm with Penny, who I talked about before. Uh, it is a really awesome free-range pig farm, a bit of ecotourism uh, attached there. And Penny has some amazing ideas but she needs you because she needs more grunt work around her and she wants to own this farm with you. Um, so if, if free range pigs are your thing, if living in Wagga is your thing, I strongly encourage you to reach out. There's a basic pitch 
that we ask you to fill out. It's all on the website for you to download. Uh, it's 69 hectares. It's 27 kilometers south of Wagga. Um, and it is, I've been there. It's a beautiful spot. So I really encourage you, if you want to own a farm, if you want to do free range, um, if you want to just live your dream, this is a perfect opportunity uh, and a, like a, a revolutionary farm to be on because you'll be the second only crowdfunded farm, second uh, only and uh, one of hopefully thousands over the next few years when we uh, start rolling this out. So you guys, who, if you don't get on this farm, we want crowdfunding to be an absolute normal way for you to be able to raise the investment you need to get on your farm. So we're going to make sure this works so we can repl replicate it. And then finally, uh, there are 19 farms up for grabs right now uh, for you to apply. It's very, very simple. Uh, we've had a few that have just had so many responses. We've been bombarded, which is great. We want to see that. We want you guys thinking about it. Um, so get on there, trawl through the farms tab. You'll see there's 19 farms. They're all with the farmers looking to step back who are genuine about working with you and sharing ownership, which is what we're all about. Uh, we've done the hard work. We'll put it on a plate for you. Now all you have to do is jump on there, click, write some words, uh, and you could be on the farm of your dreams. Gang, that is it. Uh, I have plenty more things to get update on, but I'll do that next week. Uh, thank you for your support. Please sign up, please spread the word, share all of our content. We're doing it just for you so you can get excited, but we also want to build momentum so others will pay attention and more investors will come to us and more retiring farmers and more of the best aspiring farmers uh, so we can really rejuvenate regional communities. See you soon.